this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to test your dead zones and your stick drift on your PlayStation controller or Xbox or whatever controller you have connected to Steam. So we want to go up to the top and go to Steam, go to Settings. Right here and select this and scroll on down to Controller. So I currently have a PlayStation 4 controller connected. And I can test the inputs by going to here. And you can see if I'm moving around, press any button and it works. And I can press O to go ahead and exit here. And I want to go to the option right under that. And this will give me the option to uh, change and test the thumbsticks on here. So it's not letting me exit. So I'll just go back here. But this is very easy to do. So let's go back to Steam, go to settings, go to controller. And here's calibration and advanced settings. Let's open this up. Here's the joystick. And we can test the stick drift or the dead zone. So we can go to the right stick and we can adjust the dead zone on here. We can basically make this zero if we really want to. So I'm going to keep it pretty much at zero. So it looks like it's at 2000. I don't know if that's the lowest it goes or if there is some. So I'm going to put it right about here so I get like basically no stick drift. I mean, I get basically no dead zone. Then I'm going to press triangle. And now I can go ahead and test it out. So you can see the red is the center. Then if I'm over the little like gray shadow circle, that is where my dead zones are set. So if I move it to the left over here, you can see I'll have stick drift. And it looks like it's good right there. You can see it's moving very slightly. So I don't think I would have uh, stick drift in the game because it's still within that little gray circle. But I can just move around and then I can press triangle to stop the test. I can go back over to the left stick. I can do the same thing. So let's test this stick. It looks like I got a little bit more stick drift on this one. I'm going to have to increase the dead zones just a little bit. Otherwise I'm going to continue to have some sort of drift issue. But you can just come in this section. You can test the gyro in here. And you can change the LED light to or turn on or off and rumble. So let's go ahead and adjust this. I don't want it all the way down. This is just going all the way to the left for me some, for some reason. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six tech.